So, yesterday I've implemented three nightstands, and I was particularly nightstand C, uh, the one with the red cloth over it, that made me think maybe I should implement a, uh, a candle, or uh, I guess a set of candles. So, uh, Actually, uh, over the over the time between last stream and this stream, I did make sprites for candles. So there's nothing else other than code to implement. Actually, one thing I do wonder is because there's currently an object that is. Telephone. Oh wait, hold on. Interacting with it causes the sound void, and sound voids would be sent uh, to all clients. So yeah, there would be no problem there. Uh, in any case, candles would have to have a particular event. So. Let's get started. Not what I wanted to do, but it was better than trying to delete something. I don't plan on implementing other sets, but I like to keep my options open. Here we are. I don't think I'm going to have rotations on this, but nonetheless, I feel like it's going to be something I'm going to have to do with. is incorrect. Hold on, I got that wrong. These are animated, so I need to. I'm in a loop. A little bit faster than that. A bit faster than that. A bit, maybe a little bit slower than that because I know that GDevelop will tend to make things faster during uh, runtime than. Eh, I think that's about good. It may be made a little bit faster. Okay, so from three to seven. Oh, wait. Okay, yeah. Wait, I have to actually. 0 0.075, if I remember correctly.
go. It look the same as this. All right. Now that that is implemented, I'm going to have to put it in here. Handles A and I don't think I'm going to have uh, any great effect for uh, interacting with these things. I think mostly I'm just going to have them be kind of special things that are hidden. I do have questions. All right, thing making. What's in the uh... waves? Project spawner. Okay, that's not quite as many properties as I wish, but. Mm. Should also go ahead and take object spawner void. And I'm going to do this real quick. Let's see, variable iterator. Okay. I don't care what's here, I'm not looking for it right here at the moment. Hold this up so that way, less to look at. Uh, then I'm going to, I think this should be all right as it is. I should go ahead and uh, add random IDs for each. Each object. Spawner, object spawner void, that is. 
going to take this. There we go. Now I'll be from one and up. I should probably do the same for uh, item spawner points as well. However, I cannot be bothered. Not until I actually, you know, decide to later. Okay. So type 7, and I believe it's already type 7. Special, I'm going to set it at 2 to indicate that it's a candle. I do not need a sound foib, but I will indeed use the used uh, tag. Object vent foib is exactly what I need here. Actually, I should probably have uh, have like parameters uh, for objects. So it should be, okay, well, there's just spawn points here, but it should have parameters so that way I can be like, okay, look at uh, this particular object for the activator, do uh, activator doors. And that might actually be, that would actually make these useful. They would be special. It, they could just be used for like, uh, for like, putting something down and having uh, having some background stuff so it's not like, oh, it's just an empty room with all the objectives and nothing else to build the world. No, you got, you got like, you got a desk that doesn't really have anything in it. You got uh, a bunch of other things that really don't advance the exact thing. But then you could also if you really wanted to, you could go ahead and make uh, these particular objects. Uh, you could make them uh, activate activator doors. Or activated doors. Activated doors. I'm going to... I don't think modification is necessary because the event already covers that. I'm going to copy this and paste it here. I like that. Now, it would probably be uh, that an activated door is like you activate something and then the next frame the activated door would uh, see that because uh, object event handling happens in client code where the server code runs first on the server.
Do I have it in the event objects? I do not. And now I do. Actually, now that I think about it, if I'm going to go down this route, I should probably give uh, telephones a different sprite for once they are used. So that way you can differentiate between activated stuff and not activated stuff. Okay, let's see. Is that as a global object? For each handles A. If uh, the particular candles A is or has a variable called activated and said variable is equal to one because variables that don't exist default to zero. Which I mean, I probably shouldn't rely on that. But Actually, this should be a sub event. Also, also, one thing I realized I should have done, because I know how this works, is I should have copied the next, or the same frame over. Since these do not loop, I can actually get when they end. But uh, if I do when the end, then it will literally, the millisecond it goes to this one, or rather the frame it goes to this one, uh, it will say, all right, we've ended. Whereas I want this one to play out for the duration. This is a, a dummy insert that uh, will uh, that will activate, like this is the end of the animation. Whereas these, you can't get the end of the anim uh, animation run, if I remember correctly. Maybe I'm just remembering incorrectly and confusing uh, a particular DS game where you could make, or where you could program something, and uh, a G develop. Or maybe they both have the same restriction on that. Actually, I'm pretty sure that the DS game in question does have that restriction.
It doesn't say it's here, so I'm pretty sure I'm just remembering it incorrectly. The particular uh, game in question is uh, WarioWare Do It Yourself. This is a fun game. I liked it. Nonetheless, I know that it will go ahead and uh, it will uh, consider it to be finished the frame that the last uh, sprite image uh, displays. So I have to insert another one in there. Actually, it might be the frame before. Like, you know, so that way uh, both the finish flag and the uh, the sprite are on the same or uh, the finish flag and the last image for an animation uh, are set at the same time. I don't know. This will give me an uh, indication of, uh, of what sprite it's on. This, uh, this works perfectly, assuming that this is not a negative number. Also, I gotta set this differently. I'm pretty sure that will make this work at the moment. Can't be entirely too sure about that though. Hello, hello. Okay, I just wanted to make sure my mic was still working. I was seeing some problems with it before stream, so I wanted to uh, double check. Not quite what I was hoping for. Okay, so I probably should have done something like this.
Hopefully this doesn't take too long to recompile. Waiting on the recompile. Still works. Oh no, I just wanted to go there. Alright. Now the. Wait, I forgot to set. I am an idiot. I am a really big idiot. I am sorry. Then again, what do you expect? Actually, I noticed that this uh, this particular stream is, at least of my recent streams, is a... If I were to number my streams, this is a particular uh, number that the internet finds funny for some reason. Just solving a Rubik's Cube while I wait for the compile to happen. I suppose it's a thing that I like to do actually.
Okay. The candles should be interactable. Perfect. Oh, excellent. Hmm. I like, I like, I like that. I like how it works perfectly. I'm not entirely sure feeling that I can walk on top of it, but well, that's probably because I didn't add it here, but it's working and it's working as, in, uh, as expected. Was I about to say as inspected? Any case, wonderful. Can I add this to like right here? I want to see if that works. I think I have a little bit of wiggle room to work with. Any uh, 16 by 16 alignment, if I remember correctly. Uh, if you if you saw my uh, if you saw the thumbnail of my last stream on my uh, dead stream channel, you actually saw what the uh, candles looked like. Uh, well, maybe you didn't recognize it, but it was it was very faint. It was very transparent. That is, but it was on top of the uh, the red uh, red cloth of the table of the third night stand. That is. bit too high up but that's okay I can still move it around that was not as intended I am standing behind it. All right. So, first thing, perhaps, is uh, in here. I should probably take care of that uh, item object. The reason why it's important to do that for this, despite the fact that it was working perfectly here, is because I know that once I go to uh, to the uh, 
the actual map loaded in from the files. Uh, that won't work because I actually need to load in the IDs from the file. Whereas, uh, whereas here it would have just iterated through uh, each number. And it works perfectly because I am, uh, it would, it works perfectly for what I am currently doing because it would only be on uh, one computer. That is, there would be no networking to another computer and thus it doesn't really have to sync up. Let's try that actually. I want to make this either, uh, I want to make it 32 alignable so it's very easy to align. In the editor, but I can go up to 16 alignable. It's perfect. Other than standing on the table, but that can be worked with. So, what I'm thinking for that which is probably going to be the same across the board. Is that there, it's, yeah, it's actually not in here, which I didn't realize. And now I gotta test it. Because I'm going to, I'm not gonna sit easy until I test it. Frick, I screwed up some uh, uh, on my rescue, that is.
probably do something about that. I mean, it is correct in what it's doing, but let's see. So, stage three, and let's take a look at candies. Candies. Let's add 48. And uh, I'm going to check play code to see what it does. If I remember correctly, higher IDs are in front. So. All right, uh, when you're later, uh, object event handling, sound blades exposed, evidence of special object preservation, gimbal vision, all screen color, uh, tag, area zone, time delta, timer, teleport, character movement, uh, light effects, layers, sight object, no, uh, frame count. I don't think I need this anymore. Times mode ticking, murderer visibility, area view for display, animation, board handler, site code, maybe? No, it's probably under ordering. Yeah, it's under ordering. All right. That means that uh, 48 would put it, would act as if it were right here as if uh, the bottom corner instead of being right here were right here which is technically lower than this all right I am disappointed. Potentially in myself. Let's take a look. All right. So, Z order is 1984. Because it has a Z offset of zero, Z offset of zero. What, why are there? Both of these are zero also, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I'm pretty sure I any case, 1728, which means it's behind. All right, let's take a Z lowercase o, and here it looks for Z uppercase o. I'm going to change it here since it's many less lines to change.
but that doesn't quite explain why this wasn't set. There we go. I have solved my Rubik's Cube to my preferred configuration, which is close enough. It's actually a very specific configuration I like solving to. It's actually what you get from a completely solved cube by rotating the left and right on each side uh, twice over. That is, uh, it will look like you have made a bunch of X's, I suppose. And I try to solve to that without intermediately solving to a, a normal solve. Okay, okay, it works now, but I'm not entirely sure why it works. This is indeed the value I have set it to. I'm not entirely sure uh, why it works though. Perfectly 2000. Whereas this is 1984. I like that animation. Probably add like a little glow around it. But you know, I, I guess it just looks nice. In any case, how much time did I spend? Oh, I spent way too much time on that one thing. That is appalling. But I did uh, add some other things to each and every object, like correcting its uh, ID issues. All right, but I guess I get to uh, give it a check mark. Hmm. Maybe I should add a painting. I already have paintings, but I'm not entirely sure if I want to use them. Actually. Paintings. There's one that I want to use. This one. I like this one. Actually, that makes it easier to select one. I'm going to give this mundane object to 
going to give that a save as, but I'm going to export this as a painting A. I should. I actually don't like that, but so. Let's see, can I implement this without taking way too much time? Answer is probably no. And also, the bigger question is, why would the person being murdered have a painting of the murderer? I actually turned this into a wallpaper a while back. I like that wallpaper, it's neat. Though it is absolutely incomplete. In any case, this actually would be one of the simplest objects to look at. Hopefully I do not take too much time. Because I simply do not have to do anything else. To put it right here. Since there is no collision, since it's a painting that's supposed to be hanging on the wall, which already should have collision, I don't think I need to add anything else. As a global object. Now, I could do what I am going to do with special objects and make paintings secretly activatable. But if I do that, I'm not going to use an activation thing. I'm not going to actually do something. I'm going to probably set it in its own category. And it's just like, oh, it changes the sprite slightly. Because you, you uh, vandalized it or something. I don't know. Ooh, three minutes left. Let's hope this doesn't take too long. I like the fact that this mouse has a 
the capability of like unclipping its uh, scroll wheel so I can just click it down and it just keeps going. Now I wouldn't want to have my scroll wheel like that all the time, but it is nice when I have to scroll through a lot of things. Here I'm just trying to go back and forth between 2021 and 2121 and uh, 1921. Ah, a bit too high. A bit too high. Not quite what I was looking for. And this is going to take too long. It is going to take too long. Hopefully it only has to recompile that one thing, and then I'm good. Hopefully. Hopefully that is. But it seems like I'm recompiling the test as it is. So maybe it'll take a while. Hopefully not. There we go. And I like these candles too. I like them and I like... I don't really don't think that we have any more time to do anything else. So, I'm going to save. To just wait out the timer. It should be here any moment now. All right. Wow. All right. That's gonna do it for me tonight. If you were watching or in chat, which would mean that you're watching, or if you're watching later on YouTube. Thank you. So until I see you, or until I see you again, this is goodbye.